heard some people playing that in the room next door would be harpsichords. And we have a couple of instruments here that we're working on. Um, we've got the sides for uh, the side for one of them right here. And um, this started out as a piece of wood that uh, looked like this. And uh, it's really kind of hard to bend that too much. So what we have to do is boil it. You ever make uh, spaghetti? You ever help your folks make spaghetti? Uh, well, what you have to do is you have to take that spaghetti and put it in boiling water and get it so that it's soft. And that's kind of what we do with this piece of walnut right here. We have a trough that we use, and we'll get that water uh, kind of bubbling hot and uh, put it in that form. And since it's a double curve here, he actually works on it at uh, two different times. He'll do one half and then let, put that around the form here that we have up on the mantle and let that dry for about a week or two. And then once that's set, he'll work on the other side. How, do, how does he work on the curve? What's that? How does he work on the curve between them? Well, what he has is, is there is a, a, a um, certain section of flat going in between the two. But this form here, he can adjust it to uh, um, different uh, thicknesses or different curves to that arc. Um, and for the pattern he has, um, he studied one of the original instruments, uh, taken and made some drawings so you can see on this full scale layout what that curve is going to look like. So what he might do is take that form that he has, adjust it a little bit to make sure that it flows with the pattern that he's got here. If it doesn't quite match to his um, uh, tastes, then go ahead and re-bend that form. And uh, that's one of the advantages to that jig that he has up on the mantle is that he can adjust it to whatever 